from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. Detroit Lions. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Detroit Lions and the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the seventh overall pick in 2018 from Wyoming. It's Josh Allen. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some. They threw it accurately. One touchdown pass. So he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. the tight end and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds three yards the game there second down so a we'll look here at the key inactives and we got this list before the game down on the field and they tell us the same thing every time don't they next man up no excuses be ready to play that's the mantra of every organization the key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level that's when you know you've drafted well scouted free agents oh, yeah. well and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Here's Allen on first and 10. Going to throw right side here. Complete. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Now left side on the swing pass. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They get nine yards there, and they get a first down. Now Allen again. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. Throwing again, Allen. This is brought in by Gibson. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Throwing his Allen on third. The catch made by Miller. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 14. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. 
the red zone now. They'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best design plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. But CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And it appears that this was just a letdown from the offensive line, but they do have a tough job because if you're a big tackle out there on the perimeter, sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end who's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield, and he got there and put his man on the ground. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. Allen now throwing on third and long. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Three yards all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. On the return, Phillips. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. At their own 31 yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The numbers a week ago for Cook. Four catches, 106 yards. Having a nice season. Number eight in the league in receiving yards. Not just making his team happy, but anyone who's picked him in fantasy football. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Now they go with Mostert again. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. He was locked in last week in FC Offensive Player of the Week in Week 2. Clear some space in the trophy room. He won it last week. He's thinking he's going to get a few more before this season is over. Maybe even starting. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked by the rookie Kyle Duggar. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive. Trying Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Curtis Riley. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Good job. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown, and pick it off, just as we saw there. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Play action. It's Wilson. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. 
Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call it? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called it old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. From the 41, Wilson. And he whips that one incomplete there. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for. Third down here. Here's Wilson. Able to get this to Gordon. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced a third down. Blanket in the field with coverage. Nowhere to go with the football. Forced a dump off to the back. And even then, they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. To throw again on second down. Allen. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing our score. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. But he hits his target, the tight end, Lewis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. He'll find Gibson here complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. The Cardinal's going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Allen now on first down. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. To try again after the sack. Allen caught right side. It's Lewis. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 39. A game there of 21 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Now he's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they're able to double their lead just before half. And we will skip the highlight show this week, get right back to this week three matchup. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The 
Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And maybe time for this offense to really hit the reset button. They were shut out in the first half, but still, they're right in this game. They certainly are. What I like about it is that you actually continue to play. You know, you just find a way to make a few plays yourself, and you noted it. Right there on the border in this game, they're not that far off. He's going to find a play or two, and they could be very happy at that point. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Flush to his right. Looking sideline, incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounds. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Rocky Sin. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. From the gun, it's Allen. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. At the 27 yard line. On play action, Allen. He'll find Miller, that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. Operating from the gun, Allen. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Throwing on first down is Allen. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 47 yard line. And again, it's Allen. A quick pass to come. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 41 yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Here's Allen on first and 10. To the right side, complete to Miller. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. First and 10 at the 25-yard line. On play action, Allen. And Lewis has it, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down to about the 21 or 22. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen throwing the out route incomplete. That's Lewis. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Allen looks to throw on third and one. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will make our score 9 to nothing. 
Same story continues. He's the only one that scored for them, their kicker, with all the points. So now when we hear the chance of MVP, MVP, <laughs> they're definitely aimed at him because he has been the only guy who's put points on the board in this game. Kickers are always either the hero or the GOAT. So far, he's definitely the hero. He'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And this will wind up a Lions first down as the tackle made here at the 36. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Here's Moster. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. And then we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. On first and ten, it's Moster. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On second down, Moster. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. A 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. And he'll be taken down shy of the 25 that he needed. He'll be a yard or two short. It's a gain of five, and now the question, will the offense stay out there on fourth and one? And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Murray. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. This is Moster. He will push his way down to about the 14. They got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage. That... And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Raheem Mostert with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Lions have got it back to a one-score game. And they're back within a couple at 9-7 now. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Takes this about five yards deep. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. And now trotting back out with the rest of his offensive mates, the big tight end. And partner of the defense, they were keyed in on him early, but his talent shining through as of late. I like what you said about keyed in because it all started in their first meeting of game planning for this game, where they went over things with their team and said, all right, this is the guy we have to take out of the game. Make sure you get enough coverage on him, all the different defenses. Sometimes you run everything you've got in the first half, and they adjust in the second half to start to play better. They'll keep it on the ground. Gibson. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. It's a seven-yard pickup. They'll be looking now to third and six. Third and six. To throw is Allen. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. 
And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Stop made by Fred Warner, who was the Niners' leading tackler during their run to the Super Bowl last year. No time out. You got to go quick here. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. I see you nodding your head up and down. It's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. And he finds Cook. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. Throwing on second and eight. Wilson. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Here we go, baby. Now Justin Tucker is out to try the field goal. This to almost certainly win the football game. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now Justin Tucker is out to try the field goal. This to almost certainly win the football game. Tucker's kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. And you know, in an era of cost-cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skimp on special teams, and in these situations, it pays dividends. And that's great vision by the organization. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball, would you rather have a street-free agent out there or a solid pro like this? Answer's pretty evident to me. This is Jakeem Grant. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't, because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. So for Detroit, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll return home next week to take on the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for Arizona, they'll fall to 1-2. And, and they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with 